In this video, we're gonna send a broadcast email to my email list using a WordPress plugin, so that you can do the same if you're paying for expensive software like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, and you're looking for an alternative and wondering what's possible using WordPress. Yesterday, I posted this video here on YouTube where I show people how to build emails using the drag and drop email builder that you're gonna see me use in today's video. And I wanna email my email list and let them know that they can go and watch that YouTube video if the topic interests them. Here I am logged into WordPress and the plugin that I use to do my email marketing, to save my email list as my CRM, to do my automations and a lot more is called Funnel Kit Automations. There's a free version and there's also a pro version. I have both of them installed. To learn more about what you get in the pro version, I'll leave a link in the description below that takes you to this page here where you can learn more. With a plugin installed, if I go to Funnel Kit Automations and then click on contacts, this lists all the contacts currently in my Funnel Kit Automation CRM. And if I click into my profile, up the top here is the status of the contact in the CRM. And the statuses could be unverified, which is where you might have a double opt-in where somebody fills in your opt-in form, you send them an email with a link they need to click to confirm their subscription. But if they don't click that link, then they would be an unverified. They can unsubscribe they're subscribed or they could bounce, meaning that it was a fake email address or maybe their inbox was full. The next thing to point out is under lists are the different mailing lists inside of FunnelKit Automations that a contact is in. But with FunnelKit Automations, a contact does not subscribe or unsubscribe from a mailing list. They're subscribed at the CRM level and then they can add and remove themselves from your different mailing lists. And I'll show you how that works. Here's a broadcast email that I sent out to my email list a couple of weeks ago. And down the bottom, there's a link to unsubscribe. And if we click that, we get taken to this page here where we can manage our email preferences. This in FunnelKit Automations is referred to as your subscribe page. And it says, hi, my name, below are the mailing lists that you're currently in that are being sent to this email address. And here a user can choose what email list they're in i.e. what types of emails they receive from you. So they could add themselves to this email list, remove themselves from this one here, or they could unsubscribe from all emails. So if I was to join both of these lists and click update, it says your subscription preferences have been updated. And if we go back to my profile, you can see I'm still subscribed, which is expected, but now I'm in both the mailing lists. If I wanted to, I could click unsubscribe from all email lists and click update. And that removes me from the email list, but then also sets my status in the CRM to unsubscribed, meaning that I will no longer receive any emails from this website. In the future, your contact could come back to this subscribe page and say they don't want to unsubscribe, they just want to get your WordPress tips and then click update. And that would change their status back to subscribe and then add them back into that mailing list. So I needed to go through that to point out that a contact doesn't subscribe to your different mailing lists in FunnelKit Automation. They subscribe at the CRM level and then they can add and remove themselves from your mailing list. If we go to FunnelKit Automations and then to settings and then click on subscribe page, this is where you choose the page in WordPress that you wanna act as your subscribe page. You can click here to go in and design that page in your page builder, however you want, and then you just use the shortcodes here to dynamically output the information about the contact. Then under list management, this is where we select that we want to allow contacts to manage the list that they're in. We choose what lists they can add and remove themselves from. And there's some other settings here that you can use to customize how you want to handle this. It's very straightforward to set up, but I did need to cover that before we do this next step. Here under Funnel Kit Automations, if I click on Contacts and then click on Lists, here's the two lists that I have. Marketing Tips is when I'm sending emails related to how to build sales funnels, lead magnets, how to sell more digital products, more online courses. And then under that are my WordPress tips where I email out tips related to using different page builders, managing a WordPress website, and just generally how to work within the WordPress ecosystem. As I mentioned at the start of today's video, I'm gonna send an email out to notify people about my new YouTube video. And you're probably thinking, surely you've done this before. I've done it maybe once or twice, but I really should have my own mailing list where I send those emails out to that mailing list about YouTube. And if people don't wanna receive my YouTube video alerts, they can remove themselves from that list. So let's go ahead and set that up. I'll click create list. 
I'll name the list YouTube video alerts and I'll add a description and then I'll click add. You might have noticed that the mailing list name and description is what your contacts see on the subscribe page. So you wanna make sure that it's meaningful and so at a glance your contacts know exactly what types of emails they can expect from joining that list. So with our list created here, if I come back here and reload the page, you'll notice that it doesn't show up here as an option. That's because we need to go back to settings and then to subscribe page and here selecting the list that they can manage, we need to check YouTube video alerts and then down here, click save. Now, if we reload the page, we see that at the bottom here. So people can add and remove themselves from that list. Now I wanna add everyone that's in Funnel Kit Automations into that mailing list so that they start receiving my YouTube video alerts. And if they don't wanna receive them, they can click to remove themselves from that list. So to add everyone into that list, we'll use a bulk action. So I'll click on bulk actions and then create bulk action. I'll name my bulk action and I'll click add. We could choose to run this only on specific contacts by applying filters here, but I wanna do it for everyone. So I'm not gonna apply any filters. I'll just scroll to the bottom and then click next. And then here we will select action, add to list. And then here I'll search for my YouTube video alerts list and select it and then click save. Under here, we could trigger automations to run when this runs on each contact, but I know I don't have any automation set up for when people are added to this list. So this setting doesn't really matter in this case. I'll click next. It says it's gonna run on 1700 contacts. Down here, let's click start. And this is going to run through, it runs through quite quickly. So we're at 120 now and that's done. Let's go back to bulk actions. And here it lets us know that that was completed on the 1,761 contacts. If we go back to lists, find our YouTube videos alerts list and scroll across, we can see that we have 1,761 contacts in Funnel Kit Automations and they were all added into this mailing list. And of those contacts, there's 1,358 contacts that are actively subscribed and receiving our emails. There's one more setup tip that I wanna cover here before we send our broadcast email and it's related. If we go down to Funnel Kit Automations and then Automations and then click into this automation, you'll see that when a contact subscribes to Funnel Kit Automations, they get added into this automation and then they have an action applied to them where we add them into lists. And if I click here, they're being added into the marketing tips and WordPress tips list. We need to add our YouTube tips list here and click that and then save. And now contacts that subscribe in the future will be added into our new YouTube videos alert list. So that's it for the setup. Let's get into sending this broadcast. So remember, we're sending a broadcast email to announce that I've just posted this YouTube video. And if I click into this, the content of this video is that I received this email from Vimeo and I thought it would be great to recreate this email inside Funnel Kit Automations using their drag and drop email builder. So here's the original email from Vimeo. And I was thinking the layout here would work really well for my YouTube video alerts emails because I could put the name of the YouTube video here, briefly describe what I'm gonna cover in the video. The button would link to the YouTube video. I'd have a thumbnail of the video here. And then here I could say what you will learn. And then I could have a quick table of contents of what I cover in the video, another button to link to the YouTube video and maybe a bit of text down here. So we know that I've created this layout here inside of Funnel Kit Automations because I did it in that video. And if I log into the WordPress website that I used for that video where I created that template, I could come down here to Funnel Kit Automations and then to emails. And then under templates, here's that email. So if I click and then click edit, this is the final outcome of that video. And once I had designed that email, I just saved it as a template and that's what we're seeing here. So what I could do is exit out of here and then go back to templates and I could select this template and then click export. Then I'll save this to my computer and then back on my live website, we will import that template by going to Funnel Kit Automations and then emails and then under templates, I'll click import. I'll select that file and click open. That takes me to this page here and if I click edit, now I have that email design in my live website. Now you'll notice some things look a little bit different. The logo is different, the colors of the buttons are different, and the text is a little bit different. 
That's exactly what we want. And I'll show you why. If we click save and then exit out of this, and then here under funnel kit automations and emails, we click on global styles. This is where you manage the global styling of all your emails. So you set your logo, you can set the colors of your brand, you set your font size and your font family, the colors of your links, as well as how you want your buttons to look, and a couple more options. When we imported that template into our site here, our global styles took effect. And that's what we want. We don't want to have Vimeo's branding in our website. We want to be able to import templates and have our styling go and affect those templates. So all we need to do now is go back to that template and go into here and then click edit and just adjust it so it's a little bit neater. So the logo, we might scale down to something like 25%. And scrolling down, I think the rest looks pretty good. That's the only adjustment that we had to make. I'll click save and then exit out of this template. And now let's go and use this template to send our broadcast email. To do that, under Funnel Kit Automations, let's click on Broadcasts and then click Create Email Broadcast. I'll give it a meaningful name and click Add. I like to always A-B test my emails. So instead of standard, I'll click A-B test and then click Next. And then here, we want to send this to everyone that is in our list, matches any of YouTube video, and click that, and then apply filter. So now we're only sending this broadcast to people in this list, and we won't be emailing people that have removed themselves from this list. I'll scroll to the bottom and click next. And at step three is where we design our email. So we have our control which is where we design the first variation. And because we're doing an A-B test, we can add a second variant to test something else. Let's do our control first, and then we'll A-B test the subject line as our second variant. So the first subject line, I'm just gonna make it the title of the YouTube video, customize WordPress emails like a pro. Preview text is what shows to your contact in their inbox before they click to open up your entire email. And to design our email, we'll use the visual builder. But here I'll click templates and then our announcement simple template, I'll click apply. And now if I click edit, we're ready to customize this for the content of our video. I'll update the title to match the title of the YouTube video. I'll click on the image and then select here and click upload. Then I'll select the image of my YouTube video thumbnail and click select image. Then for the button, I'll say watch video and then I'll click to edit the link and I'll link that to the YouTube video's URL. And then down here, I just did the same for this button. So I just finished writing the text. Let's tidy this up. So here we're going to add a merge tag for the person's first name. And if we don't have a first name, we'll say hi there. So I'll copy that and then paste that in there. And then down here, let's link this image also to the video because people click on images. So I'll go to the button and I'll copy the URL from there, and then I'll click on the image, click on the link icon, paste that there and apply it. But now that we've done that, the email design is complete. So I'll save this, and then I'll head to preview and test, and with my email address here, I'll send myself a test email. And here's the email. I've already checked for spelling errors. We're mainly just checking that things are linked correctly. So I'll open up this, and then this, and then down here we have another link. And I've just confirmed they're all opening up the YouTube video correctly. So we're ready to send this email. I'll exit out of this and then I'll save the design and then I'll return to the wizard where we're sending our broadcast. And because this is an A-B test, let's click to add a variant. So this is our second subject line in our A-B test. We could add a third variant if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that today. We'll keep everything the same because you only want to change one thing in an A-B test so that you know that thing that you changed had that effect on the analytics. Down the bottom here, I'd recommend enabling UTM parameters on all of your links so that you can track these analytics in a software like Google Analytics. And we also want to enable that for the control as well. So I'll go back and enable that there. At the bottom here is a setting called Smart Sending. And if we enable that, it lets us know that this broadcast will go to 15% of the contacts and then it will wait three hours and whichever variant in the A-B test has an I a higher open rate, the remainder of the list will be sent that variant. Because my list is quite small at say 13 or 1400 people, I'm gonna increase this to 30%. 
That way we get more people into this A-B test and we're making decisions based on more data. I'll still wait three hours, but let's click next. We can review all the details here. You could also schedule for this to go out later, but I'm just gonna schedule this for now and I'll click send now. It says broadcast updated. Here's the amount of contacts it's going to and it started to send. So 11 have been sent this so far and we have an open rate of 8.3 and you can see this is just gonna constantly send out until it's completed. Up here, it lets us know that it's ongoing, meaning it's still sending. If we go to analytics, over time, we'll be able to see how many people open it, what the click-through rate is, how many people purchase a product. If we were promoting products and we we're selling using WooCommerce, we could see the total revenue that we make from this email broadcast, how many people unsubscribe. We get some graphs here, and then down here, we can see our A-B test. So here's the two different subject lines. We can see that it's sending 50% to each of these, and it's gonna keep going until it's reached the 30% of the total list. It's gonna wait three hours, and whichever one of these numbers is highest under open rate, the remainder will be sent that subject line. If we click on engagements, we get a list of all the contacts that this was sent to, their email address, and the green indicates that it was sent. When somebody opens it, this will go green. If they click, this will go green. If they unsubscribe, this would go green. And if they buy or purchase using WooCommerce, this would go green and the revenue would show here. If we go to orders, this would list all the WooCommerce orders that this broadcast directly made. If you like the content of this video, then definitely check out the links in the description below. And if you're selling digital products, head on over to my website because I'm currently working on something that's going to benefit you to sell more digital products. Also on your screen is the video where I recreate the Vimeo email in the Visual Builder. So click here if you wanna watch that video.